Hi everyone. Yes, it's been a while again, but I'm trying not to make it so long in between times. Um, I will tell you a little bit about everything that's going on if I have a little time after I answer the 20 questions that up down mostly and Peggy and um, Stacy did. Um, so here they go. Where were you born? I was born in Marion, Indiana, but I lived in Fairmount, Indiana most of my life. Um, who was is the most important person in your life growing up and why? That would be my parents, both of them, um, Ruth and Walter Fletcher, because they taught me how to be humble. They taught me how to appreciate people and appreciate help when I get it. Um, what is your favorite color? That would be green or pink. What is your favorite movie? The Breakfast Club. There are so many more, but that one I really love. And The First Nightmare on Elm Street. I love that one. Do you think people have a soul however you define it? Yes, I do. I definitely believe that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you believe in the possibility that God exists? I know that God exists. Um, have you ever gone bungee jumping? Um, really? No. If you could solve one and only one problem in the world, what would it be? Um, from my standpoint, uh, the health care. I don't think as an American um, I should have to beg for help. Just saying. You know, and maybe that's selfish of me, but I, I just I don't think that we should have to do that. Um, if you could solve, oh, sorry, do you believe there might be aliens out there that have visited the earth from time to time? Now, I'm not really positive on this. I can't say for sure yes or no, because there has been evidence, but I've never seen it. So, I don't know. Um, did you have a pet growing up? I had a dog for about a minute. That was the only pet that I had growing up. Our neighbors complained about the barking and dad got rid of it. I mean, I think we had it for a week or two. Yeah, we were really broken hearted. It was sad. My dad didn't like animals. He liked them away from him. You know, oh, they're cute, but I don't want them next to me. That's how my dad was. So Zanny is actually the first pet I've ever had other than a rat and a rabbit. So is there circumstances that would warrant the death penalty? Um, yes, I do believe that um, we there are times that I believe that the death penalty should be used because all we are doing when we know these people can't be rehabilitated. Wasting tax dollars, money, and people are suffering because they're still alive. Now that's just my opinion. I'm not saying that that's the right opinion, but it is the opinion of mine. Um, <clears throat> if you could have a super sense, what would it be? Sight, smell, hearing, touch, taste. Um, I would say hearing or sight. Uh, yeah. If someone offered you enough money for you to live the rest of your life, how how much would be enough? Um, just uh, I don't know how much, but I can say just enough to be okay, to where I didn't have to worry if my electricity was going to be turned off. I mean, you know, I'm not greedy. I don't want millions. I just want to be okay. That's all. Um, how old do you think you'll be when you die? 
Well, I'm hoping that I'll be old, you know, not feeble, but old and have to enjoy some of my life. You know, I mean, I've had not... I haven't been the happiest human I've tried but you know sometimes there are circumstances that make your life very unhappy um let's see what time did you go to bed last night um I never know when I'm gonna go to bed because I can't sleep and if I do sleep I sleep too much so I don't know maybe last night I went to bed about three and got up about 6.30. Um, if I ask you what's the top three things you like about yourself, what would those be? I'm very caring, I listen, and I'm very perceptive. And I love people. Sorry, that was four. Um, if you could have any profession in the world and it would support you, what job would that be? Um, I would want to be a psychiatrist or a writer. Um, if you could go back in time only once, where would you go and when? Yes, you can come back when you're done. Um, I got to pick, okay, I'll pick before my mom died, which was July uh, 23rd, 2002. So before that, any day before that because I had both of my parents. Um, <clears throat> what is your favorite meal? Um, macaroni and cheese and anything. Macaroni and cheese is very bad for me but it's my favorite thing. If you wanted to tell me something that not many people know about you, what would it be? Um, when I'm by myself I cry a lot. Um, I get discouraged and it's a, it's hard sometimes in that alone time to think of how like this is your life you know what I'm saying I mean does that make sense but yeah um, I cry a lot uh, that's the 20 questions <clears throat> and now I'll tell you what's been going on a little bit um, I talked to the woman at the organization about the CPAP machine and hopefully within two weeks I'll know if I get it or not um, I my tooth is taken care of which is awesome. Um, thank you, by the way. And I've just been trying to keep myself positive as much as possible. Um, the other night, I had a really hard night. I'm going to say this pretty quick because I'm already at 8 minutes and 40 seconds. But I... Um, I fell asleep and you know how when you choke on water or your own saliva how you feel like that instant second you're gonna die because it's like Ugh. you know well that's how I wake up a lot because of sleep apnea and the other night it happened like probably ten times in a row and I'm telling you I just sit there and cried because it's very very depressing so I'm hoping and I will keep you guys informed and um, I love you all. Never forget that. And hopefully you'll see me soon with good news. Mwah. Bye.